So take two. Yep, this is technically our second episode, if you count the last start, of uh, NAB show Hits the Couch. We have Maria Petrucci, formerly known as Callie Lewis, from Geek Beat TV, and we'll get into the change taking place there. But so I got a little bit of a backstory because we started earlier with some audio issues. <laughs> Um, so tell us. Oh, so, that was a that was a yeah, stare. Huh? Huh? It's rough. I don't know if both cameras can pick up that look, but so I know it's only it's, we're only in a day two now, um, but it's been busy. Tell us how the studio is different this year. What you guys are doing? Yeah. So uh, you know, in the previous years for NAB show, we've always kind of done run and gun kind of coverage or just hung out here because this is our toy house, right? It's yep. like everybody. It's it's where we see the gear that we want to start using. Um, and uh, so this year we're actually officially working with NAB Show, and here comes a big truck. Come on over! Amazing, yeah. No, no, no! Come on! Come oh on. no! Go for it! Let's halfway. go for it! Woo! Title card. Wait, can I have some water? Yep, amazing. <laughs> this emotion tracking title cards. Bam! Will come the intro. That'll be perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. In seven minutes, he's coming back for the end card. So okay, we good. Wrap yeah. <laughs> we'll wrap it up by then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this year we're, we're, we are the official live stream for NAB Show, mm -hmm. uh, working with the NAB Show team. And, and where can people see this? Uh, at geekslife.com slash NAB Show. Okay, geekslife.com slash NAB Show. Okay. And uh, yeah, so we're live streaming the entire week, which is great. And you know, we do this a lot for other events as yep. well, like CES, for mm -hmm. instance. Uh, and I just love uh, kind of getting to be able to talk to all the exhibitors yeah. in, in a format like that. We have the chat room going. So, yeah, we have uh, the, it, when you see the, the booth, it's fairly Im impressive because the NAB show went all out yep. <laughs> and brought in the, the big guns, right? Um, so we have this huge trussing system and uh, Alex Lindsay from Pixel Core mm -hmm. uh, was very nice and, and brought in some of his PTZ cameras. Nice. Uh, so we're using some Sony BT PTZs there. Uh, so we have them hanging from the truss as opposed to the tripods on the floor, yep. which is uh, you know always a hazard <laughs> for yeah. as many people are here. Well, like we were saying, like this is broadcast. You have people walk right in front of the lens. Some of them even drive in front of our camera stuff. I think we're about to get another taste of that in awesome. 10 seconds. Um, so what, what is your audience clamoring for? I was a few seconds <laughs> off, but bam, another title card. Um, and another wipe transition. So what, what's like your audience clamoring for? Like what, what is Geek's life? What is Geek Beat? What do the people want to see? Yeah, so you know, for the last, I've been doing this for almost 10 years, mm -hmm. uh, tech news online. And uh, I've realized in, in the past few years that tech news isn't as exciting as it used to be, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody is doing it. It is the thing that you know you find everywhere, and you're seeing the same stories everywhere. Um, and to me, what I love about technology is how it benefits our life. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's what I'm really passionate about. I'm not, you know, I'm not passionate about you know going and chasing the latest and greatest story. Like, oh my God, I have to be the first one out with this. Ah! You know, that, that's yep. not the life I want, right? <laughs> and that's not the life our audience wants either. The things that, that speak to them is, how does this benefit you? How does it make you more efficient at work or at home? How does it make you a better parent? How does, you know, how does it affect your life? Um, and so that's the focus that with Geek's Life we're really taking. And beyond that, uh, we're not just focusing on technology anymore. Okay. So geek to me means passion. Okay. What are you passionate about? With, uh, with life. Uh, and so technology is something I'm passionate about and some of our other hosts. Uh, we're expanding into music mm -hmm. and to food. Nice. Um, I can get behind the food. Yeah. <laughs> outdoors. Uh, I love the outdoors and that's my, my home away from work, right? Mm -hmm. And that's where, where I feel comfortable. And uh, so we'll be, you know, getting out on, on the lake and doing stand up paddleboarding and kayaking this summer and uh, in embracing all of our passions and all of who we are. Mm -hmm. Now, for, for me, uh, the community is, is really where it's at. With mm -hmm. everything I've done for the last 10 years, I love the community. And that's where I want to focus. And so it's, it's not just about my passions or the other hosts. And by the way, we have several different shows under Geek's Life. Mm -hmm. uh, so our, our different hosts are focusing on their passions as well. And so you might see the same thing covered occasionally from two different hosts mm -hmm. and, and two different takes, right? 
um, or you might see completely different things across the board. Each, so you're redefining each day. what geek means. Yes. Yeah, I have been for the last ten yep. years. I'm really just kind of making it a statement. <laughs> yep. Yep. So it's 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 to the point where it's cool to be a geek, especially in yes. circles like this that we all Indeed. kind of own. They agree. Um, right. <laughs> so what um what what are the biggest changes aside from what you guys are covering to to where you want to be like in a few years down the road? Like what what's next? Like now that you're broadening out your passion and the the geekiness, if you will, like what's what's next for you guys? More of the same, right? I mean, for the, for the next few years, I want to just grow the audience in terms of of those different verticals mm -hmm. uh, and and figure out what passion, how to how to embrace uh, the community a little bit more. Uh, we're working on things like uh, what we're calling Geeks Corner, mm -hmm. uh, where whereas you know, new media is all about the two way conversation, mm -hmm. but still, if you look at it as podcasters, as 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 video hosts, we're still kind of throwing it out there yeah. and we communicate on the other end, but how do we bring the community into the conversation in a fuller uh, manner? Mm -hmm. And so we're, we're going to start Geek's Corner. We're still working out the technical details of how we do this, but um, having allowing the audience to share their passions with us mm -hmm. as well and highlighting the, the really cool stuff. like. For example, um, we have a guy in Dallas who's a, who's a viewer who uh, makes like Star Wars cakes and Captain America cupcakes and nice. you know like really cool stuff, right? So let's get him involved and mm. let's see what he's doing. So he's now catering all the events, right? <laughs> but yeah, so community is is a big aspect of mm. that, and and one of the things that that we just announced was is a pay what you can model. Mm -hmm. um, to us, we, we are doing a lot of, of things. Um, we are producing you know, six days a week, a uh, new show each day of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, beyond that, we're gonna be doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff and uh, extra content, premium content, if you will. Um, and then also we're about to launch Academy of Geeks. So that is teaching courses. Mm -hmm. For the past 10 years, people have asked me, how do you do what you do? How do you make a podcast? How do you um, do audio? How do you do video? How do you become a camera, on a mm -hmm. camera host? How do you read a teleprompter? How do you, how do, you do all this stuff that we yep. do, right? And we're ready to share our knowledge. But we don't want to lock it down because People like me, when I got started, um, I didn't have any money. You yeah. know, I didn't have the ability to uh, really afford a lot. I was on a ramen noodle diet for a, for yep. sakes, a lot you of know. Can really. <laughs> um, and so, so if you if you can pay three dollars a month or more, uh, we are doing a pay what you can model. So mm -hmm. you choose what it's worth to you, and you get all that content for for that membership. Very cool. So that's exciting to yeah. us, and it's really working out well already, and we just launched it. That's awesome. Um, and then as, as soon as we launch Academy of Geeks, they're going to be getting even more with all of those teaching courses. So if you, as a viewer, you know you want to be able to learn how to do, do your passion for a living, mm -hmm. we want to give you the opportunity to do that, regardless cool. of your wallet. It's a very cool approach. So real quick, taking it back to NAB show, we are here, um, what's some of the What's the biggest thing that surprised you so far this year? Is it some amazing technology that caught you off guard, or, or is it the passion of people, or the what, what, what's been like? A, oh wow, this happened. Um, you know, I, I knew that drones were coming. Like they they have this big drone robotics pavilion. I'm impressed with the drones I've seen yeah. for sure. I, I I saw a lot of them at CES, and I thought I was impressed then. But here at an AB show. Wow, I mean, yeah. wow. <laughs> like, I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> yeah, it, it is cool. And, and you know, I think one of the things that's most exciting about the drones is there's no real legislation in place yet. Right. And like, I hope the market drives it, because it's fascinating. Mm. And um, yeah, I think people need to get a voice behind those. Yeah, there's still a lot to figure out there, obviously. Yeah, there you know, the government is trying to lock it down mm -hmm. and trying to do some stuff, but uh, with the demand that's out there right now, yeah. I, I think they're going to have a hard time, you know, completely shutting it out for sure. Yep. So, real quick, last thing that you guys are doing in NAB, what, what are you most looking forward to that you guys have planned over the next few days here? What's like the big like 
What's the big thing that you guys are doing here that you're excited about? You know, just some of the, the conversations that we're going to have. Uh, I've got a panel on podcasting later today, so I'm really looking forward to that. We've got uh, Pixel Core and uh, Leslie Samuels from becomeablogger.com. Mm -hmm. uh, he does, he's one of the most popular guys out there in terms of doing podcasting, and we've got Lipson on, on the panel. and so. We're gonna have a really good conversation about that. And given all of my changes lately, and mm -hmm. given um, the, the have, have we counted? A lot, yeah, a lot. <laughs> um, given the, the new models yep. that, that I'm pushing forward with and playing with and, uh, and getting the audience involved with, that's certainly uh, yeah. something I'm very much looking forward to kind of hearing other people's opinions about. Very cool. Well, best of luck. Thank you. And um, any advice for these aspiring podcasters, vloggers, producers? I mean, they can go to your site and get, get into the educational side, but any yeah. advice from them? Anything else? You know, I think um, one of the things I've learned over 10 years of, of doing this uh, online, it's, it's all about, I say this a lot, but it's all about your passion, right? It's um, about you focus on, on what you can speak to and speak to with passion because no one's going to listen to you if you don't, uh, if, if you don't speak from the heart. <laughs> um, and so, uh, you know, that's, that's, one, that's where you start, right? Mm -hmm. And then you got you to gotta be willing to put in the work. You got to be willing to push forward more than anybody else is. Um, and... And one of the main things I've learned in the last year is to trust your instincts. Yeah, um, you gotta take risks. I, you gotta take risks, you gotta trust yourself. Uh, there will be a lot of naysayers out there. Mm -hmm. And there, there, is, there is value to listening to other people, absolutely. Sure. But take that in and still listen to your heart. Still listen to that gut feeling. Uh, because most people who've done amazing things out there uh, had a lot of people telling them no 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 no, no. Yep. <laughs> so Very trust cool. your instinct cool all right guys um to watch the hits the couch episode check us out at blog.nabshow.com and where can i find you guys uh geekslife.com cool all right thank you so much thank you yeah. it's been a pleasure yeah <laughs> anybody else want to walk in front yeah. yeah can you can you david i mean there we go, there but go. Let's, let's make it a trail yeah <laughs> we need to see a t-shirt <laughs>